Grannis, 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 Grannis. Welcome to the first ever Real Dirty Review. Today we're going to be shooting the Genesis Arms Gen 12. This is going to be a 12 gauge firearm based on the AR style platform which has all their standard controls using a DPMS style 308 lower receiver. We're going to be running a few rounds through their proprietary fiber on mags. First up is going to be the Estate Cartridge Double Out Buck. Now we're gonna move on to the Cellier, Cellier and Bellot double out buck. And just so you guys know, this uh, crossfire is turning on and off. I don't think it's gonna recall a 12 gauge. All right, like uh, any standard 12 gauge, it does kick. It's not as bad as I anticipated, but you're definitely getting a lot of recoil. Now we're gonna, we're gonna be running some Suprema buckshot. So far, so good. Ten rounds in. All right. Three mags in. Everything looks good. So now we're gonna be running some. Winchester Super X making the transition from double out buck. Let's see how it runs. All right, 20 rounds in. We're gonna go ahead and load up some more mags and uh, we'll keep shooting. Let you know how it goes. Shoot some rounds on steel and uh, that's about it. Guys, so we're gonna go ahead and see how tight the shot pattern is gonna be out of the double out buck. Obviously, you have a short barrel here. You know, distance is, is gonna be unforgiving, but we're about 10 yards right now, and we're gonna see how tight the uh, Cellier and Belot double out buck is gonna hold up in the uh, Gen 12. With the red dot turning on and off, this is uh, more than acceptable. Guys, we're gonna be at the uh, about the 20 yard line. We just fired about five rounds from the 20 to 25 yard mark. Based on the distance from 10 to 25, the pattern opened up a little bit, but as you can see, a majority of the pellets are gonna be inside the target. You know, Gen 12 gets a thumbs up. It ain't fun if the girls can't have none. For you, I would definitely recommend picking up either an upper or the full package from Genesis Arms. It's fun, it's cheap to feed, home defense, before I forget, I brought out the shockwave, as you can see here, so you guys could see the size comparison. Essentially, the Gen 12 is shorter, more compact platform, and it is mag-fed by their proprietary box mags. So, when you're dealing with a pump, you run out of ammo, unless you are John Wick or a three-gun shooter, you're gonna have to feed this thing very quick and this is box med this is box fed so for anybody that's familiar with the AR platform reloading is a breeze from my understanding from Genesis arms these will fit in your 
308 carriers, mag carriers. Um, so if you guys have those, reloads are gonna be a breeze. Like I said, the four controls are identical to a AR-15 platform, AR-10 platform. So for all you guys that are familiar with this, you're gonna have no issues running this very quickly and very effectively. So Genesis Arms Gen 12, great platform, great gun, fun to shoot, go get one. All right guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Real Dirty Reviews, and if you're looking for me on Instagram, that's gonna be at Real Dirty Harry. All right guys, so the kind folks at Genesis Arms said that for every Gen 12 you buy, they will send you a pair of fresh white Monarchs. Just go ahead and include in the notes your size. Crispy white boy. And you get these crispy white Monarchs, Dad Flex, with every Gen 12. Just kidding, but you need some Monarchs anyway. Golden Corral tire. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer! <laughs>